hello my dear students welcome once again so today we are going to solve a problem again on uh, bolted connections so you can see here that uh, you are asked you are given a question where you have to find out uh, the uh, strength design strength of the bolt for a lap joint for a single cover but joint with 2 mm cover plate sorry it's not 2 mm I just correct it okay this is 12 mm cover plate then double cover next is double cover but joint with 10 mm cover plates the main plate is 16 mm okay so uh, actually this is the diagram uh, this two are the plates this is number one plate this is number two plate this two plates are to be connected okay so uh, when you have a uh, at the top when you have a cover plate these are called your cover plates which are used to join these two plates this is the bolted boltings are done here these are the boltings so this gives a double cover this is a double cover but joint that means these two plates are joined and here at the top one cover plate is there at the bottom one cover plate is there but for single cover but join only the uh, a single cover is present okay that is at the top you can say so here uh, this is just easy it's simple like in the last previous video I told you that you have for finding out the design strength what you have to do you have to calculate the shearing strength bearing strength and then you have to calculate the shearing strength and bearing so that means the shear capacity of the ball this VDSB and your bearing capacity VDPP okay everything is mentioned to you here you can go through this then you see here given things you we know these are the given things okay given things are what D is the diameter given to you this one is your diameter given here so D is diameter we know your ultimate tensile mm -hmm. stress you know for the uh, Fe410 grade of steel, Fub you know, Fy you know from this grade of bolt, then the diameter of the hole you know from table 19 if you see, you know from table 19 right, this one, that see here you have a diameter of the ball to be 22, so this is nominal diameter when it is between 16 to 22 you have to add a clearance of 2 mm to get the diameter of the hole okay so here you can see that's why for 22 we have added a clearance of 2 mm so this much and your ash distance you know your ash distance how much should be the minimum ash distance and pitch distance in the previous video i already discussed this thing uh, then shearing strength and bearing strength now our first step was you know shearing strength uh, then you calculate the bearing strength only the difference will be what there is not actually no difference uh, see here you know to find out the shearing strength you have to know whether it is a lap joint or single cover but joint or a double cover but joint so for a lap joint you know nn is how much one in the previous video we have discussed you just check i i hope you have noted down in the from the last notes and also the video if you have checked if you were present in the last class so there you see here nn is the number of shear planes and we know for lab joint this nn is one so we got this much then comes your bearing capacity of the bolt thickness we know thickness is given to be thickness is given to be 16 mm of the main plates which are to be connected those two plates are 16 mm so in the lab joint with the, there is no cover plate so 16 mm then we know from both and you know kb value how to find out the kb value kb value is lesser of these four from is code you know this thing so now once you have calculated step number one and step number two smaller of these two will be your shear strength of the this one shear strength of the bolt now for the second case single cover but join this is the single cover but join main plates are 16 mm and the cover plate is 12 mm okay so here also same thing shearing strength you will find out bearing strength since you have to find out the strength of the ball so you have to obviously perform this two steps step number one you have to check step number one and step number two so here the we had how much single cover but joint so and then you know again it is one for single cover but joint that is the shear plane is one here now 
um, this portion is zero you know because we don't use uh, we are not using a bolt without threads plain shank without with plain shank we are not using then comes the thickness here in the thickness only one change is there the thickness see here thickness we always take it to be the minimum of the two uh, minimum thickness so this is the main plate this is the cover plate but the thickness is lesser is which one 12 mm so we take to be 12 mm we consider this thickness the smaller thickness smaller of the two now double cover for so strength of the bolt we got to be this much for single cover now for double cover but join this is the two plate 16 mm and this two cover plates are there at the top and the bottom which is 10 mm thick so here nn this nn will be how much 2 we know for double cover version in the earlier uh, previous video we have discussed i hope you have noted down so the bearing strength is how much this thing and here the thickness minded the thickness here is how much 16 mm why 16 mm because you see here these two are the cover plates if you add this two cover plate that means the total cover plate thickness is how much this one and this one 20 mm but actually we need how much this is the smaller of these two is how much 16 mm so we use 16 mm and we get the strength of the bolt okay for so for today just practice this thing go through this uh we'll meet you in the next class thank you